HIV. So today we'll be talking about how to know your partner has HIV or the person you're dating has HIV and um, how to prevent HIV, signs and symptoms of HIV. If you have HIV, how your life is, can you get married? Can you get married and without infecting your partner? Can you have children without infecting them? And most importantly, how to prevent HIV. The most important again is how is HIV gotten, really? How is it gotten? There have been so many myths. So let's get to it. For those that say that I talk too much, this is health education. It is not um, a comedy. I have to explain so that everybody, in order to carry everybody along. First of all, how do you know your partner has HIV? You'll be dating this beautiful guy, girl, handsome man. How would you know they have HIV? Now, this is very important. You don't know. There is no way to tell that your partner has HIV. As beautiful as they are, as beautiful as the person you just saw, as beautiful as I am, you never know. There is no way to know physically that someone has HIV, except by them getting tested. And very important, the time of them being tested is, in, is very important. Somebody that um, is exposed to HIV or slept with somebody that is, um, has HIV or is exposed to HIV, if you test that person one week after, it will be negative. For those people that, you know, um, that are promiscuous, especially men, before they sleep with you, they go and check you first, you know, send you to a hospital to go get checked, and then it's negative. If, you're, if that is your method, you are wrong, because that person, most of the times, it doesn't really show till about three months or two months, depending. So if you're checking that person one month, two weeks before exposure, it will still be negative, okay? So this all depends on the time of the testing. Having said that, let's talk about... Um, the, how HIV is gotten. Then after that, we'll talk about the signs and symptoms, and then we'll talk about how to live with HIV perfectly, beautifully. In fact, HIV is more preferable than so many illnesses that has no cure. And please, let me make it known, it has no cure. However, we'll get to it. There are so you can be beautiful, you can live your life very healthy, no problem. If you have HIV, I love you, no problem with you, okay? So, let's get to how it is gotten. HIV is gotten by exposure to blood and fluids. Yes, direct exposure to blood and fluids. Mostly vaginal sex, um, intercourse, unprotected, and um a now sex that this is why most um gay men have hiv because it's easier to contact gay i'm sorry um anal sex so you can contact hiv via anal sex and then deep wet kissing if both of you have injuries okay your partner that's why brushing brushing immediately is not really good because you might have injury and the person has injury in their gums and then this will transfer HIV, but the chances are low, but it happens. Now, um, using the same syringes and needle, this is where you need to be careful when someone is giving you injection. Okay, so let's get to it. So another um, way HIV can be gotten is through, um, you know, needle puncture, um, sharing of the same needle, just like I've explained okay um what other ways this is basically the ways you can get hiv now having said this let's talk about signs and symptoms of hiv now this is very important to note that don't wait till you have signs and symptoms before you check yourself it is advisable to check yourself at least once in six months okay okay because most when these signs get in, most at times it might be progressing to almost you know the maybe the third stage. Okay, so usually you may have it asymptomatically. Okay, so make sure you check yourself once in five months, six months, three months, as if you have the opportunity, or twice in a year. 
okay so these signs are this now rashes i'll post a picture there these are hiv rash um night sweats you might have see yourself having night sweats and fever you know we treated malaria and so many things but the fever keeps coming back you're coughing your fatigue you're vomiting you know um basically i didn't um mention i am supposed to mention this now what hiv does is when it gets to you okay it's um the virus that causes hiv is human immunodeficiency virus now what this virus does is it attacks your immune system okay it attacks it and it tries so much to replicate your um you know your the your cells basically and it brings down your cd4 cells it brings down your immune system and gradually it starts you know as it brings it down normally you're exposed to everybody's exposed to an infection but because your immune system is high what it does is it now sub, um you know subjects you to multiple infection you know i can be here and somebody that has tuberculosis here somebody that has hiv without um you know treatment yet two of us will be here and i won't get the tuberculosis despite being close to the person but somebody that the immune system is low with hiv will get it immediately malaria fever every small thing you get it so this is what hiv does and that is what kills not that the virus kills you it's what you're exposed as it exposes you and your immune system becomes low this is how it happens okay so now when hiv is not found early and you know you don't stop the progression of the infection it now leads to AIDS which is acquired immunodeficiency um syndrome okay so you now you now become so many so exposed to infections and at this stage um which, which is the latter stage okay you the person will die so this is why you need to test yourself so that you don't get to the stage of AIDS and AIDS has no cure has no management the person just dies this is i'm supposed to explain this um so this is why you need to check yourself okay at least every one month at least every you know maybe like twice or three times in a year to see if you have hiv okay because when you have it it's not a problem okay but not knowing and then it's advances to um this um eighth stage is where the problem comes in okay so that is this about what hiv is and what AIDS is there are two different things okay so you can add a half hiv without getting to AIDS. AIDS is the final stage there are stages there are stages where you have hiv without symptoms you wouldn't know that something is happening to you. so expecting symptoms is not before you go get checked is not really the an ideal thing okay so now let's let's get to treatment of hiv yes now hiv cannot be treated it's it's a myth it's there's no there's no treatment or cure for hiv okay however it can be managed you can live your life there are drugs that um will be given to you and when you 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 take them and i'll tell you how to take these drugs so that you don't you know have resistance so they don't stop working okay and what to do too so you they give you drugs when you find out that you've been diagnosed positively i'm so sorry if you've been diagnosed um you can still live your life you take these drugs these drugs take them judiciously what they do is they stop the progression of the virus they stop the virus from this further destroying your immune system and you can now live your normal life okay but however please if you're taking these drugs on hiv make sure that you check um your your kidneys so you must um do kidney function tests at least twice in a year or three times in a year if you're if you have hiv because these drugs are nephrotoxic and there is nothing that can be done about it okay so you have to be checking them nephrotoxic means most of them affects the kidney but if you're checking and they find any irregularities in your kidneys they will 
the doctor will know what to do okay so don't just take them take them take them and again very important please make sure you take that drug judiciously timing is very paramount in hiv drugs timing is in, is paramount take that drug when it is been like if you're taking them you've stapled the time of the day you will take it and it's 10 a.m please put on your alarm 10 a.m start taking take it by 9 50 something you already know you are ready, and you take it at exactly that and don't stop don't take it 10 30 11 however anytime you miss your dose you can you know take it whenever you remember but please avoid this take it that particular time to avoid resistance okay um that is basically it and try to you know do things that will improve your immune system for instance peer is very good taking peer is very good for hiv people taking avocado is very good for hiv it will improve your immune system vitamin c take lots of water do exercises work out live your life be happy look for a boyfriend get married now this gets me to the point of can you get married if you have hiv wonderful you can get married of course you can you can get married but then you know you have to have some um, protective measures by um, wearing your condoms when you're sleeping with your partner or if you want to make babies make sure your 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 viral load is is low by taking your drug constantly judiciously okay you can also let your partner know that you're you don't deceive somebody please it can ruin them let them know if they love you fine so this with this making your viral load low is by taking your drugs walk hand in hand with your doctor you can get your partner it's possible to um you know be pregnant your children won't get it their drugs will be given to you your partner won't get it as long as your viral load is low okay please um make sure of this so um that is all about it now let's get to prevention of hiv practice safe sex if you must and with condom and wear your condom properly make sure there is no leakage anywhere okay and um, avoid anal sex because even if you wear condom for anal sex sometimes the pressure makes the condom break and you have no idea okay so just be, this is why gay men have hiv a lot now very important is um avoid sharing of same needle um in the hospital make sure the needle they use for you is for you and it's front of you the nurse or the doctor is opening a new one don't wait to go and say ah let me go and look for or they just already this the drug is there or the syringe is already open no i, I request for a new one for people going for tattoo make sure there are new needles new syringes you don't just use any how thing that you don't know that whether it is new or sterile okay and um you can the most important way to you know avoid this hiv is is by remaining chaste avoiding sexual intercourse that's the number one sure way of doing this and also you can stick to one partner you guys should always do your checkups yearly so that is it about hiv now if you have been raped or you've been exposed to hiv um somebody that is, has hiv and you're sure and certain that this person has hiv all you need to do is just go to the hospital they will give you a a, a, a drug called prep that but you have to take it in three days time within three days of space of when you've been exposed or you somebody you punctured yourself with hiv needle or anything that you know you're sure and certain that the person is hiv just go to the hospital tell them they know what to do okay so let me know if you like this video let me know if you have more questions you can chat me on my instagram and if you're hiv positive i love you it is not a problem at the end of this video so you should be, you would have already known that it's not a problem right so have a wonderful day